everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. All you do is copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. And today we're in a world of blocks. This is Minecraft yoga. It's our first day here and we've got to get ready for what lies ahead. Now, it's very important that we survive here in Minecraft, so we have to build a shelter, a house. Coming up to stand, jump your feet wide, take your arms wide and bring them up above your head. Coming into house pose, very good. Now we can protect ourselves from all the mobs of monsters that spawn at night. Taking yourself all the way forward, see if you can grab hold of your ankles and then clomp them like a monster. Ooh! Coming all the way up. Now, to get ready, let's spin into our Minecraft skin. Take your arms wide and begin to spin from side to side. Ooh, you can even close your eyes if you like. Wow, that's amazing. Now we jump our feet into the middle and... Oh my goodness! I've got my skin on! Oh, this is interesting, isn't it? Ah, huh, I wonder how we can move. Let's lift our arms. Ooh, oh yeah, and lower them. Ooh, <laughs> that's fun. I wonder if we can do any yoga. Let's turn to the side. Here we go. Now, let's fold all the way forwards. Oh, now I wonder if we can take our hands down. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I wonder if we can touch our toes. Let's reach down and oh, yeah, oh. We did it! And come all the way back up again. Ah, and put your arms down. Ooh, and turn to the front. There we go. Hmm, it's going to be quite interesting doing yoga wearing this. Maybe we can just pretend we're wearing the skin. Let's shimmy and shake it off. Ah, that's better. Now you can see me again and I can see you. We begin by looking up to the sky and seeing the sun's out. So we wave and say, hello, sun. Reaching all the way up and say, hello, sun. This is brilliant. It means we've got plenty of daylight to collect all the things we need to craft. Now, let's have a look around at where we are. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. Oh, it looks like we're on an island, surrounded by an ocean. There are trees and rocks and all sorts of things. Plenty of what we need to get crafting. We lower our hands and we have to build a shelter, don't we? So look around and we see trees. Coming into tree pose, bringing one foot on top of the other, your hands together and grow your tree up nice and tall. Now, I wonder how strong are the trees here in Minecraft. I'm going to come and try and blow you down. You stay tall and strong. Here I come. Doopy doopy doo. -do -do. <sighs> oh my goodness, you're so good at balancing. Let's try our tree on the other side. Coming to stand with the other foot on top now, using your heel, balancing on your toe. Bring your hands together. Oh, try not to wobble. And come up tall like a very tall tree. And can you open your Minecraft tree branches? Very good, everyone. Now we've only got our bare hands to chop these trees down, so let's come into wood chopper pose. Turning to the side, spread your legs nice and wide and crisscross your fingers behind your back. Stretch your arms up behind you and then fold forward as you chop. One, two, three, chop! And up. One, two, three, chop! And up. Last time, one, two, three, chop! And all the way up. Very good, everyone. Now we've collected lots and lots of blocks of wood. Coming into a block of wood pose. Down onto your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny block shape. Ooh. 
brilliant. Now we need to turn these blocks into planks of wood. So take your hands forward, come up onto your hands and knees and stretch one foot back, two feet back and come into plank pose. Pull in your tummy nice and tight in your plank pose. Very good. Now with our planks, we can make a very important thing, a crafting table. Coming into table pose, coming to sit on your bottom with your knees bent, your feet flat, and your hands behind you and lift your bottom up coming into your crafting table pose. Very good. Now we can make all the tools we need. Let's start with a pickaxe. We need to make some sticks. Coming to stand in stick pose. Standing with your toes together, your hands up above your head, making yourself as pointy as you can. Very good everyone. Now we balance two planks on top of our stick to make a pickaxe in a triangle shape coming into dog pose. Onto all fours, hands wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky, coming into your dog pose, yay! Now we've made a pickaxe, we need to go and find some coal. Coming up to stand, we find a giant stone wall. Hmm, there could be some coal in here. We jump our feet wide and our arms wide, making a giant stone wall shape, very good. Now we've got our pickaxe, we dig at the stone wall. Turning to the other side now, stretch your legs wide, crisscross your fingers, stretch them out behind you and fold forward after three with a dig. One, two, three, dig! And up, and again, one, two, three, dig! And up, last time, one, two, three, dig! And go all the way up again. Very good, we found some coal and we've managed to dig ourselves a cave. This can be our shelter. Coming to stand with your legs wide and your hands above your head in your cave pose. Well done everyone. Now with our coal and our sticks, we're going to make some torches. Let's come into candle pose. Lying down on your back. Stretch your arms out wide and lift your legs up to the sky and wiggle waggle your toes like flames. Very good. We put the torches up on the walls of our cave and we've got light. Well done everyone. Now look outside our cave. We see some sheep coming into sheep pose. Sitting all the way up on your hands and knees. Let's wiggle waggle our tails and let's go meh. We could do with some wool so that we can make a bed. Sleeping is very important in Minecraft. It's how we stay safe at night. We sit on our bottoms, we bring our hands together and we say ba a stay to thank the sheep. Ready? Ba a stay. Brilliant. We take the wool and we add it to a block of wood to make a bed. Coming into bed pose. Turning to the side again, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind you and lift up your bottom, coming into bed pose. Excellent, now we'll be safe at night. <gasps> Look outside everyone, there are some mushrooms. Mmm, we can get some dinner with them. We come up to stand and we fold halfway forwards as we pick the mushrooms, picking them out of the ground, collecting lots and lots and lots. Fantastic, now we stand up tall. We need to craft a bowl so that we can put our mushrooms inside. Coming into bowl pose. Lying on your bellies, put your hands under your shoulders as you bring your feet towards your bottom. Then reach around and see if you can grab your feet. Now breathe in as you lift up. Whoop. Very good, in your bowl pose. We put the mushrooms inside and we can make a mushroom stew. Mm -mm. Coming up to sit. Now, we need to make ourselves a door so that we're secure at night. Let's come into door pose. High up on your knees, take your leg to the side and your arm up to the sky. Let's see if it works by opening it. Oop. Very good. Now let's see if it closes. Two knees together, leg to the side, arm to the sky and close it. Ooh. Brilliant, that's made good use of our planks. Now we're inside, we look outside and we see that the sky is turning from orange to pink to purple. It's dusk, 
Now we're inside, we build ourselves a chest so that we can put away all the things that we've collected. Coming into chest pose, sitting on your bottoms, joining the soles of your feet together, holding onto your toes and close your chest down, putting your head towards your toes. Fantastic. Now we look up because outside it's night time. This is when all the mobs of monsters spawn. We've got to be ready for them, so let's talk about what we're going to see. There might be some creepers. Creepers coming up to stand up on your tippy toes, everyone, because creepers like to come up to you and blow themselves up with a kaboom. After three, let's jump and kaboom. One, two, three, kaboom. Oh, we stand up. If we see one of these, we need to run away. Run! Now, there are also zombies that come out at night. Coming to stand to the side, roll all the way forwards and slowly roll yourself up to stand. Ooh. And bring your arms up in front of you. Turn to the front and like a zombie, tilt from side to side. Ooh. Zombies have lots of friends and they often bring them with them. So we need to hide like little mice if we see the zombies coming into mouse pose on your knees. Tuck yourself up into a tiny little ball. Ooh. Coming up to sit again. Now there might often be some skeletons around and they have bows and arrows. Let's come into archer pose. Sitting with your legs out long. Take two fingers and put them between your big toe and your second toe. Bring your elbow back towards your ear and see if you can reach forward to your other foot and fire your arrow. Ready? One, two, three, pew! We better be careful. We don't want to meet any skeletons. There are also witches coming into witch pose, standing up onto your craggy toes and your fingers and maybe a craggy nose. Ooh. They like to cast spells and use magic. Ooh. And there are spiders. Let's come into spider pose. Standing with your feet just a little bit wider, bend your knees and bring your hands down in between your feet. Now ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside and rest your feet, your legs over the top of your arms in spider pose. Now spiders like to come in from above. Oh no, look, one's coming in now. But there's a skeleton and he's shooting it with his bow and arrow. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your other two fingers between your big toe and your second toe and bring your elbow back. Then reach forwards and grab your other foot and watch the skeleton fire its arrow to the spider. One, two, three, pew! The spider keels over into happy baby pose. Lying on your backs, everyone, holding onto your feet in happy baby pose. Ah! Well, this is good news. This means we've collected some string. Woohoo! Sitting up tall, crossing your legs, let's roll the string up in front of us. Ooh. And let's put it in our chest. Ooh. We need to go to sleep so that we don't have any more danger tonight. So we huddle ourselves down into a comfy position oh, in our lovely beds and we feel safe. Ah. In the morning, we wake up and it's raining. Coming up to sit on your knees, pitter patter on your faces and on your heads. Oh my goodness me, this is exciting. It's daylight again, so we're safe. So we decide to build a boat. We're gonna go fishing today. Sitting on your bottoms, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands. Yay, in boat pose. Give me a wave, yay. Now who's this coming to see us? It's our friend, Stampy Cat. Coming into cat pose, everyone, on all fours. Fingers spread wide, tuck your toes, arch your back up and look into your belly button and then lower your belly down and wiggle waggle your tail and go meow, meow. He's brought a treat for us for breakfast. Some cake, mmm. Sitting on your bottoms, crossing your legs, rub a hand on your tummy. 
pat your head at the same time as you eat your delicious cake. Can you do it the other way? Rub your hand and pat your head. Very good. Look, the sun's coming out and it makes a rainbow appear in the sky. Let's come into rainbow pose. High up on your knees, everyone. Take your arms wide and drop down onto one side. Stretch your leg out and reach your arm up and over your ear, coming into your beautiful rainbow pose. Now we sit with Stampy and he knows an awful lot about Minecraft. Coming into rainbow pose the other way. Two knees together arms wide, drop down and stretch your leg out. Reach your arm up and over your ear, coming into a full rainbow. Very good, everyone. We wonder whether Stampy could ever craft a yoga class into Minecraft's world. That would be funny, wouldn't it? If you were playing Minecraft and you came across a yoga class. Hmm. Along comes a horse. Coming into horse pose, high up on your knees, step one knee forward and lift your arms up. Then fold forwards and lift your chest as you go. Stampy saddles up. He lifts himself up, turns himself round, drops down onto the other knee as he says, meow, I stay, and off he trots. Very good, everyone. Now we better get in our boat so that we can get some fish. Sitting in your boat pose, lifting up one leg, lifting up two, lifting up one hand, lifting up no hands, and give me a wave. Yay! Using the string from our spider, we catch a fish. Point your toes down and drop down onto your elbows. Now pop, 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 pop your chest to the sky and look up to the ceiling or the sky above you like a fish. Yay! We sit up tall. This is great news. We've got a fish for our supper. Now, back on the land, we find we're being followed by a pack of wolves. Let's come into dog pose. On your hands and knees, spread your fingers wide, tuck your toes and lift your bottom up to the sky, coming into your dog pose. Now, the wolves are our friends and they howl at the skeletons to scare them away. Coming all the way forward, come down onto your belly, untuck your toes and then peel your shoulders up off the ground and see if you can make your legs really strong and lift them up too. And then look up to the sky and howl. Ow! Thank you wolves. We get back to our shelter where after eating our fish supper, we're ready to have another sleep. We've survived our first two days and nights here in Minecraft and we feel very proud of ourselves. So we lie ourselves down, our legs and arms long, and we come to rest. What an adventure that was. It's been amazing here in Minecraft world makes us understand how things are made. When you look around you at all the natural things in the world and how you put them together to make the tools and the things that you need. It makes us realize that we don't need very much. A house, warmth, friendship, food and water makes us feel really grateful for all of the other stuff that we have in real life. Maybe when we look around now, we can understand how those things were made. The work that went into them. And we can feel very grateful. Very grateful for all that we have. And now, it's time to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We bring our knees into our chest and we roll over onto our side, opening our eyes, coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts, just like we started. And we finish with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. That was awesome. Thanks for coming to Minecraft World with me and helping me survive my first couple of nights. You were amazing. I hope you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye.
don't forget to join me on Saturday morning for Saturday morning yoga. Get everyone at home together and enjoy some family time. Remember, subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss one. I'll see you Saturday. Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy, just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, Three, namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. And today we've got a special Pokemon adventure. Yes, our journey to become a Pokemon master begins now. Now the idea is to catch and train as many Pokemon as we can. And today we're going to try and do our first battle in a gym. Ooh. We're going to learn a lot along the way about our strengths and weaknesses and how to stay calm when we're faced with a challenge. Come on up to stand and let's get started. Oh, this is strange. I seem to have turned into a cartoon, like the Pokemon cartoon. Oh, I'm not sure I can do yoga like this. I need to stay calm. I wonder if you can help me. Let's take three deep breaths together and hopefully I'll get my body back. Here we go. Breathing in through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose and out through our mouth. In through our nose and out through our mouth. Phew! <sighs> oh, back to normal again. Now we can start the adventure and we begin in Professor Oak's lab, coming into our lab house pose, taking our feet nice and wide, our arms wide and our hands above our head. Here in the lab, we get a choice of three starter Pokemon. There's Bulbasaur, the dinosaur-like Pokemon with a bulb on its back. Let's do our dinosaur pose. Folding all the way forwards to take hold of our ankles, we lift and lower our feet as we go clomp, 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 clomp. Rolling up to stand. Our second choice of starter Pokemons is Charmander, a lizard fire-type Pokemon with a flame at the end of its tail. Coming into lizard pose, onto our hands and knees, we step one foot forward to the outside of our hands. Then we wiggle our leg all the way back, keeping our toes tucked for a bit of support. And we lower ourselves down onto our forearms like a lizard. Now, see if you can lift up your back foot and show your flame on your tail. Ooh. When Charmander feels angry, the flame gets bigger. Ah! Coming back to sit with our legs crossed. Our third choice of starter Pokemon is Squirtle, a turtle-like Pokemon, coming into turtle pose. Taking our feet out in front of us, we keep our knees bent. We put our hands down and slide them underneath our legs like two little turtle flippers. Squirtle can go very fast through the water thanks to its shell and it can blast water from its mouth. Let's have a try by breathing in through our nose and blowing out of our mouth. Wow, we've soaked everything. For our adventure today, we decide to choose Squirtle as our starter Pokemon. Now it's time to pack a bag with all the things we need to be Pokemon trainers. Sitting with our legs out long in front of us, we bend our knees a little bit to touch our toes. Now we open up our bag by lifting our arms. Here we go. We take our arms out nice and wide and we twist one way to get some Pokeballs. We need Pokeballs to catch all the Pokemon when we find them. Here we go. Let's put them in the bag. Pokeballs, 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 Pokeballs. Arms out wide again. We twist to the other side to get a 
poker flute. Oh, we need a poker flute if we find any sleepy Pokemon and need to wake them up. Let's put it in the bag. Here we go. Poker flute, poker flute, poker flute, poker flute. Arms out wide again. We twist to the back and we get some lemonade. Very good for restoring our health. Here's the lemonade. Let's check the lids on and put it in the bag. Lemonade, lemonade, we love lovely lemonade. Arms out wide again. We twist to the other side and we get some nuggets, honey and berries. Very useful. Here we go. Let's put them in the bag. Nuggets, honey and berries. Nuggets, honey and berries. Lifting our arms all the way up, we bend our knees and we close our bag. Now, our first stop is the Viridian Forest, which is a maze of trees. Let's come up to stand and do our tree pose. Bringing one foot on top of the other, we use our heel and we bring our hands together at our hearts. We grow our tree up nice and tall. Oh, very good, everyone. Now, we need to make these trees into honey trees by covering them in honey. This way we can attract hungry Pokemon. So let's take that honey and slather it all over our trunks while we stay in our tree pose. Try not to wobble. Oh, yeah, rub it on our trunks, on the front and the back, all the way down our legs. Ooh, a bit wobbly. And on our arms. Oh, we're doing very well, but we're very sticky now. Ooh, let's try and do our tree pose on the other side. See if you can unstick your foot. Ugh, yuck. And let's put the other one on. Ugh. Hands together, grow up tall. Ooh. Now, I wonder how strong are you honey trees today? Let me see. You stay tall and strong and I'm going to come and try and blow you down. Here I come. Doopy doopy doo. -doo, -doo, -doo. <laughs> Goodness, you are super strong today. Must be all that honey. Now, it might be a bit of a wait before we get a hungry Pokemon. So let's tiptoe away and see what else we can find. Up we go. Tiptoe, 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 tiptoe. <gasps> we come to some long grass. This is a great spot for finding wild Pokemon. Bringing our feet together, we reach our arms up above our head and we lean over one way like a blade of grass and over the other way like a blade of grass or a banana. <gasps> Look, in the grass we spot a wild Pikachu. Pikachu is a yellow mouse type Pokemon coming into mouse pose down onto our knees. We fold our body all the way forward as we say Pikachu. Pikachu. We need to hold Pikachu in place, so we use our Squirtle and its rain dance move. Coming up to stand, let's do our rain dance move, using our fingers to pitter patter. Here we go. Rain, rain, rain on my head, head, head. Rain, rain, rain on my face, face, face. Rain, rain, rain on my bum, bum, bum. Raining all day long. Yes, it worked. Pikachu is stunned. Time to roll a Pokeball and catch it. Sitting on our bottoms, we hug our knees in tight. We tuck our chin like we're squashing a tomato. And then we rock all the way back and all the way up. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Whoop. We sit up nice and tall with our legs crossed. Bring one hand to our tummy, one hand to our back. We zip ourselves up and we give a silent celebration or you cheer to the sky. We caught our first Pokemon, brilliant. Now, I wonder if our honey trees have worked. Let's tiptoe back into the forest. Up we come to stand. Shh, 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 oh, there. At the bottom of the honey tree is a sleepy, snoozy, snorry Snorlax. Now, we need to wake this Snorlax up using our poker flute. Let's do our poker flute pose. Standing with our hands in front of us, we bring our third and fourth finger into our palms. We bring our hands up to the side of our face and we turn our outer hand round. 
Now we're very good at playing the poker flute. So we cross one leg over the other and we balance on our toes. Yes, now we play our Snorlax tune. Here we go. Let's try our poker flute pose on the other side. Uncrossing our legs, we bring our hands to the other side, turning our outer hand round. We cross our other leg over now and play a little bit more. It's worked. The Snorlax is awake. Time to roll a poke ball and catch it. Sitting on our bottoms, hugging our knees, squashing a tomato. After three, let's rock all the way back and all the way up. One, two, three. Whoop, whee! We sit up tall with our legs crossed, one hand to our tummy, one hand to our back. Zip up nice and tall and a silent celebratory cheer to the sky. We've caught a Snorlax and a Pikachu. We're doing awfully well. We're on a roll. Let's go catch some more. We head over Nugget Bridge, coming into our bridge pose. Sitting on our bottoms, knees bent, feet flat, hands behind us. We lift up our hips, coming into our bridge pose. Oh, look, it's started to rain. Sitting with our legs crossed, we use our fingers to pitter-patter on our faces and our heads and, oh look, on the bridge, all left by itself, is a Pokemon. It's Charmander, the lizard fire-type Pokemon, remember, with the flame. Oh, it doesn't do very well in the rain. Its flame has nearly gone out. We need to rescue it, so we take it into a cave. Coming into our cave dog pose, onto our hands and knees, we tuck our toes and we press our hips up to the sky. Now, let's mix up some medicine and help Charmander get better. Sitting on our bottoms with our legs out wide, we take hold of one stirring stick and we mix up the medicine. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Popping that stirring stick down, we lift up the other one and we stir it some more. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Pop it down. Now, we need to rock this little Charmander to health. Bringing our feet in front of us, we pick it up and put it in the crook of our elbow and hold it, cradling it. Rock the Charmander, rock the Charmander. We put the little Charmander down and we pick it up on the other side by putting it in the crook of our elbow, wrapping it up, and we rock the Charmander, rock the Charmander. It gets better. The flame has come back. Ow! And it agrees to join our team. Woohoo! We're doing so well. And look, the sun's come out. So we come up to stand, we reach up to the sun, we wave at the sun and we say, Hello, sun! Look, there, on a ledge, we spot an Eevee, a fox-like Pokemon, coming into our fox pose, onto our hands and knees. We press one foot up to the sky like a big bushy fox tail. But look, Eevee is dancing. Let's do a dancing fox pose. We reach our opposite hand forward, try not to wobble, as we sweep it back behind us to catch our foot behind us and kick our foot into our hand, coming into our dancing fox pose. We bring our hand and our knee back down and we try our dancing fox on the other side. We press the other foot up to the sky, reach forwards with our arm, try not to wobble. We sweep it round to catch our foot, kick our foot into our hand, lift our chest up high. Yay, dancing fox pose. Sitting all the way back on your heels. We would so love to catch an Eevee, but it sees us, it gets frightened and it runs away. Coming up to stand, everyone. We follow, we really want to find it. <gasps> Just in time to see Team Rocket, the bad guys, catch Eevee in a net. Jump your feet wide, arms wide. Oh no, we need to rescue her. There's only one thing for it. We use our Pikachu and its Thunderbolt move. Bending into one of your knees, we sweep our arms up to the sky. 
We draw our top elbow down and we shade our eyes from the thunderbolt power as we say, Be ka Let's do it on the other side. Arms out wide, bending into the other knee, sweeping your arms up to the sky, drawing your elbow all the way back, shading those eyes from the thunderbolt power. Be ka It's worked! And Team Rocket blast off into the sky, reaching your arms all the way up and whoosh! Evie is now free and agrees to join our team. Woohoo! Oh, we can see something jiggling and wriggling and giggling in the long grass. Coming down to lie on our backs, we hold on to our feet in our happy baby pose, wriggling and jiggling and giggling. <gasps> Look, we've spotted it. It's a Jigglypuff. A Jigglypuff is a balloon-like Pokemon and it's pink, filled with air. Sitting up, we cross our legs, we cup our hands around our mouth and we blow up our Jigglypuff. Ready? Breathing in and blow. Jigglypuff has the most enormous eyes, which it uses to mesmerise its opponents. Let's see how big we can make our eyes. Very good, everyone. Your eyes are huge. It also uses a lullaby to send its opponents to sleep. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Oh, we can't go to sleep, we can't go to sleep. We need to roll a Pokeball and catch it. Sitting up nice and tall, we hug our knees, we tuck our chin and we rock all the way back and all the way up. Here we go, after three. One, two, three. Whoop, whee! We cross our legs, we zip up our Pokeball, hand to our tummy, hand to our back. And a silent celebratory cheer to the sky. We're doing so well collecting all of these amazing Pokemon. We're nearly ready for our first gym at the Pewter City. We're on our way there, and just outside the city, we find ourselves in a secret house. Coming into house pose, jump your feet wide, arms wide, hands above your head. In the secret house, we are taught a new special move, surf. Yes, let's do our surfer pose. Turning your foot out to the side, bending into your knee, we open our arms wide and we are surfing. <laughs> we teach all of our Pokemon team how to surf as well. So now we can cross water and catch water Pokemon. Let's jump and surf the other way. <laughs> This is awesome. Our first water Pokemon that we catch is a Whooper, a fish-like Pokemon coming into fish pose. Sitting on our bottoms, our legs out long, we point our toes and come down onto our elbows. We pop, pop, pop our chest to the sky, looking all the way up and back behind us like a fish. Oh, wow. Our team is pretty strong now. We sit up tall because we are readier than ever for our first gym battle with Brock and his Pokemon. Now Brock's Pokemon at the Pewter City Gym are all rock types. So we know which ones have the strength to beat Brock's Pokemon. It's our water types. So we send in Squirtle to battle with its water gun hose pose move. Let's try it. Legs out long in front of us. We sweep one leg back behind us, pointing our toes backwards. We lift up our front leg, pointing our hose, our water gun to the sky, and we spray! Oh, 
Let's try it on the other side. Lowering our leg down, bringing our other foot forward. We sweep our other leg back behind us, pointing our toes all the way back. Now we lift up our other leg and let's do a bit more of that water gun hose pose. Here we go. And lowering it down. We've nearly finished. We've nearly beaten all of Brock's Pokemon. We should try one more thing though. Whooper. Whooper's special move is the mud shot, which means it can shoot blobs of mud at its opponents. Let's do the mud shot pose. Sitting with our legs out long, we take two fingers between our big toe and our second toe. We draw our knee all the way back and we reach forward with our other arm to take aim. Now we get ready to fire our blob of mud. After three, let's fire. One, two, three. Fire! Mm. Oh, that was amazing. Let's try it on the other side. Bring two fingers down between our big toe and our second toe. Draw our knee all the way back. We reach forward to take aim, putting our fingers on our toes. And after three, we fire another big blob of mud. Here we go. One, two, three, fire! Mm. Oh, wow, we've done it. We've defeated Brock and all of his Pokemon and won our first badge. The boulder badge, coming into boulder pose. Onto our knees, we fold our body all the way forwards, coming into our amazing, brilliant boulder shape. Ta-da! Coming up to sit. Wow, everyone, we've done it. We've collected loads of Pokemon and we've beaten Brock in our first gym. But we need to rest and recover now, restore our health. So we take our team of Pokemon for a well-earned rest at the Pokemon Center, and we release our Jigglypuff to sing its little lullaby to help us relax. Lying on our backs, taking our legs and arms long, we rest our bodies down, <sighs> letting ourselves breathe slowly. <sighs> As we lay here, we think about our awesome team of Pokemon and how we are so strong when we work in a team, how we can recognize our strengths and those strengths of our team members. And working together gives us so much more power, helps us achieve so much more. And even when we fail, we can learn, we can practice and get better and come back even stronger. Now it's time to wake up. So we wiggle our fingers and our toes. We hug our knees into our chest, giving them a little kiss. We roll over onto our side and press ourselves up to sit, bringing our hands together at our hearts and finishing just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Wow, well done everyone. That was awesome. I hope you enjoyed the Pokemon adventure and you come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye bye. <laughs>Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed, bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There, now we're ready to begin. And today we're off to meet Mike the monkey. But no ordinary monkey, oh no. Mike, 
is a space monkey, an astro chimp. So we're going in a rocket to space. Let's go and meet him. We take the train, standing up, putting our arms down by our sides. We pull the horn. Hoo hoo. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here we go around the track. Faster and faster and faster we go until we're going very slow. Pull the horn. Hoo hoo. We're here. And Mike does a big monkey jump to welcome us. Crouching down after three. One. Two, three. <laughs> he opens his monkey arms wide and gives us a big cuddle. Oh, he leads us down through the secret tunnel. Hands down, feet down, into the secret bunker. We sit on our bottoms and put our legs out long in front of us. There are two telephones, a red one and a blue one. The red one rings. Ring, ring. Mike answers. Hello. The evil alien mudfish, Snarge, has taken your friends prisoner on the space station. You must rescue them at once. Hurry. Wow, that's a bit scary. Then the blue one rings. Ring, ring. Ring, ring. Mike answers again. Hello. Your friend, Mutnik, the astro dog, is there already. He will help you. Bye bye. Bye. Oh, well, Mike wastes no time at all. He gets into his rocket. Standing up, jump your feet wide, bring your hands above your head and point to the sky. He closes his rocket down, jump your feet together, bend forward and sits down in his capsule. He reaches forward and twiddles all of his knobs. Twiddle, 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 twiddle. Ready for takeoff. Bend your knees, feet flat, hands behind your bottom, and count down from five, lifting your hips. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Mike rumbles and jumbles, rumbling and jumbling, rumbling and jumbling with the power as he goes up into orbit. Then silence as he coasts. Lying down, put your arms down flat and lift your legs up to the sky. He controls the rocket using his pedals. Hands behind your head and pedal your rocket slow and fast. And slow and fast. Time to land. Coming into his landing position, Mike tucks himself up into a little monkey ball. He's here. He comes onto his tummy and he peers out of his little rocket window. <gasps> He's going to get out. Take your feet under, lift your bottom and walk your feet towards your hands. Then open up your rocket <coughs> and say, hello space, hello space. He wiggles into his space suit. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. Then he takes one small step for monkeys and looks over one side. One giant step for monkey kind and looks over the other side. All of a sudden, a door opens and out comes Mutnik, the Russian astro dog. Hands down, feet down, lift up your bottoms and let's have a Mutnik woof. Woof, 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 woof. How exciting! Mike is so pleased Mutnik's here to help him. They look through their cosminoculars. Joining your thumbs and fingers together, have a look through. <gasps> There's Snarge in his mud bowl. Coming onto your tummy, flick your feet towards your bottom. Take hold of your ankles and kick up like a bowl. Mutnik donkey kicks two hoverboards free. Hands down, lift your bottom up and donkey kick your feet. The hoverboards are a bit like skateboards, only without the wheels. They put one foot forward, one foot back and cartwheel their hands back and go whoosh. They go round a corner and jump the other way. Whoosh. And come to a stop. Whoop. Right outside Snarge's mud bowl. They're a bit nervous, so they take a deep breath. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Big breath in, big breath out. 
then they take a big squelchy step into the mud. Squelch! And another big squelchy step. Squelch! Snarge, the evil alien mudfish, hears them. He says, Good evening, Mr. Mike and Mr. Mutnick. Come to save your friends. <laughs> oh dear, trapped in a cage. Is Gladys the spider? Bend your knees. Ticker, 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 ticker your hands round to the outside. And Toby the turtle. Sitting on your bottom, take your legs out wide. Arms inside and... Under they go. Both Gladys and Toby look absolutely petrified and Mike can't bear to see them looking so scared. He stands up tall and brave and says, Please, Snarge, see how they fear you. You must let them go. Snarge jumps wide and says, I don't care what they feel or what you feel. I only care about me and my feelings. But all of a sudden, the whole place is hit by a cosmic storm. Millions of mini meteors start rattling against the sides of the station and the whole place begins to spin around in a circle. They haven't got long, they've got to get out. Snarge has rolled over onto his back and he's holding onto his funny feet, crying for help. Help! He looks like a great big baby. The cages pop open and out come Gladys and Toby, scuttling away. Oh, oh, oh. All of a sudden, Mike stops. Hang on! We can't leave Snarge behind. He's truly terrified. We must forgive him. I'm going to go back and save him. And he runs in slow motion back to save Snarge. Snarge is in a puddle on the floor. <laughs> but when he looks up and he sees Mike, his eyes fill with sorrow and hope. Oh, Mike, please take me with you. I'm sorry, I'll stop being an evil alien mudfish. Mike knows that Snarge is being, being real, so he saves him. Standing up, turn yourself around and crisscross your fingers behind your back. He lifts up the evil alien mudfish onto his very strong back and he clumps through the mud. Clump, 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 all the way back to the escape pod. They all huddle together in a little scary huddle as they zoom back to the space base. When they arrive, Mike is greeted with a huge cheer. Yay! Everyone is delighted. He saved Gladys and Toby. Mike is so ready for a rest. He takes himself to his favorite spot in the whole space base, a gorgeous comfy couch where he lays himself down, puts his arms down, puts his head back and just stops for a moment, taking some peace and quiet. Oh, what a mission. He's so pleased he was there to help. And how he learnt to forgive someone who was clearly so bad, so pained, but needed a bit of friendship. Sometimes we have to think what other people are feeling. We can't just think about what our own feelings are. And it's nice just to breathe and have some peace, some calm time. Now, keeping all that peace inside, slowly start to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Bring your knees up to your chest and give them a little cuddle. Roll over onto your side and slowly come up to sitting with your legs crossed and your hands together at your heart, just the way we started. And we'll finish saying our secret magic yoga code word, Namaste. Ready? One, two, three. Namaste. 
Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to space and meeting Mike. You were great. Come back soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye.